And if you've been told you've got mild Crohn's disease, I think you'll want to hear this piece of research. Because what I'm about to share shows that mild Crohn's may actually require a completely different approach from, uh, compared to a severe Crohn's disease. Now, it's something that researchers have been thinking about for a while. And just a few months ago in July, a new paper from Mount Sinai in the US published in a leading peer-reviewed journal just reinforced that idea. I'm Dr. Pranam, I'm a gastroenterologist in Dubai, and in this video, I'll explain what this latest piece of research is and why it matters for patients living with Crohn's. Researchers looked really closely at people with mild Crohn's disease and compared them with those with more aggressive disease. And here's what they discovered. First, a difference in something called sphingolipid metabolism. Now, these are special fats in the walls of cells. They're like insulation and wiring protecting the gut lining and helping the immune system communicate. Now, in mild Crohn's, these fats are processed in a completely different way to severe disease. Now, the second thing they found was that there were lower levels of neutrophil-driven inflammation. Now, neutrophils are white blood cells, the body's first responders. And in severe Crohn's, neutrophils rush in like firefighters, but they cause a lot of collateral damage. Now, in mild Crohn's, there are far fewer neutrophils showing up, so the collateral damage is far less and less intense. This means mild Crohn's may not simply progress the same way as severe Crohn's. It's like following its own biological pathway. And what that does is it opens the door to more precision medicine, so where treatments can be tailored towards the patient. So mild patients may avoid unnecessary aggressive drugs, while those at severe uh, risk of severe disease are targeted with therapy much earlier.